Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com. This just in, Antonio Alfano has entered the NCAA transfer portal. His father actually put out a couple statements on Twitter. I'm going to read those, and then we're going to go into it, and then we're going to hear from Nick Saban. Here is Frankie Alfano, what he posted on Twitter. I received many messages from the media regarding Alfano. It's too bad most of the media only reach out when there's a potential of bad or negative news. I'm confident my following response will answer all of your questions. Antonio's grandmother recently fell ill and is fighting for her life on life support. He is very close with her. Since this illness took effect, Antonio has taken it very hard. He has not attended classes or practices. The University of Alabama has been extremely supportive, and I couldn't ask for better support from them. Yesterday, that's Thursday, Antonio asked to be placed in the transfer portal to see what his options are. Although he's in the NCAA transfer portal, he can still decide to remain at the University of Alabama. My opinion is that Antonio should stay at the University of Alabama. However, he's an adult, and it's his decision. Antonio knows that his family has and will always be there for him. Now, that's coming from his father, Frankie Alfano, via Twitter. Now, let's rewind a little bit. Alfano wasn't seen at practice leading up to the New Mexico State game. And then against New Mexico State, he didn't even show up. Here's what Nick Saban had to say about Antonio Alfano. You didn't see Antonio Alfano suited up on the sideline. Is, is there an update on his status? Um, he, he's going through some discipline things with me. Um, so, you know, if he does what he's supposed to do, I'm not going to tell you what, but whether it's academic, uh, which that has something to do with it, um, and being responsible and accountable to do what he's supposed to do like every other player on the team. So um, we want to get him right. We want to help him. We want to help him do the right things. But uh, that's, that's, he's got to make those choices and decisions too. Over the last couple days, Alfano has still been absent from practice. Nick Saban was again asked about a status update on Alfano leading up to this game against South Carolina. Saban responded saying that he's disappeared a little bit. Here's that clip from Saban regarding Alfano. This is from Wednesday night, September 11th. He's kind of um, disappeared a little bit. Um, you know, I, I you know, talked to our team today about the fact that you know, people make mistakes. Uh, we all make mistakes. I make mistakes. Probably everybody in this room makes mistakes. Um, we make mistakes as parents. We make mistakes as coaches. We make mistakes in just about everything that we do. But I think you compound the problem when you don't confront the mistakes that you make and you create greater consequences for yourself because of the choices and decisions that you make after you make a mistake. Uh, and, you know, so hopefully this will be a learning experience for um, all, the, all the guys on our team. Antonio Alfano from the class of 2019 was an early enrollee, actually had a very productive spring. He had two sacks during Alabama's A day. So this would be a big loss for the Crimson Tide as he is a five star. So we'll continue to track this. This is a developing story. Stay with BamaInsider.com for more information regarding Antonio Alfano and if he does, in fact, decide to leave the University of Alabama. Reporting from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, this is Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com.